Hello, uh, good afternoon everyone. My name is Dr. Khan and I'm going to present robot modeling in ROS. So let's have a look. Uh, these are the contents of my presentation. Starting from introduction, I shall cover manipulator modeling in ROS. Uh, I was hoping to present mobile robot modeling, but for today's session, I would like to skip because it will take a lot, a lot of time. And in the end, I shall conclude my topic. So let's start with the introduction. The first phase of robot manufacturing is its design and modeling. We can design and model the robot using CAD tools such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, CAD TR, CoE, and so on. One of the main purposes of modeling robot is definitely a simulation. The robotic simulation tool can check the critical flaws in the robot design and can confirm the working of the robot before it goes to the actual manufacturing. If you are planning to create a 3D model of the robot and simulate using ROS, we need to learn about some ROS packages which helps in robot designing. ROS has standard meta packages for the design for design and for the design and creation in, of robot models, which are called which is called robot model. It consists of set of packages called URDF, KDL, Fuzzer, Robot State Publisher, Collada and this for URDF and so on. These packages help us create 3D robot model description with the exact characteristics of the real hardware. Um, today we shall talk about ROS packages for robot modeling, understanding the robot modeling using URDF, understanding uh, and creating the ROS packages for the robot description, and creating our first URDF model, explaining, I shall explain the URDF code, and then understanding the Zacro and creating our first Zacro model, explaining the first Zacro model, conversion of Zacro to URDF, and creating a robot description for a seven degree of freedom robot manipulator, working with the joint state publisher and robot state publisher, and then creating a robot description for differential view robots, which I shall not cover today session on today's session. So Let's have a look in manipulated modeling. Um, ROS provides some good packages that can be used to build 3D robot models. In this section, we will discuss some of the important ROS packages that are commonly used to build the robot models. Uh, one of them is robot underscore model. Um, uh, ROS has a meta packages called robot underscore underscore model which contains important packages that help build the 3D robot models. We can see all the important packages inside this meta package. Um, one of them is URDF that is Unified Robot Description Format and it is one of the important packages inside the robot model which is meta package. Or the URDF packet contains a C++ parser uh, for the uh, URDF which is an XML file to represent a robot model. Now we can define a robot model, sensors and a working environment using the URDF and can parse it using URDF parsers. We can only describe a robot in a rigid links and will be and, um, in rigid links and it will be connected using joints. Flexible links cannot be represented using URDF. The URDF is composed using special XML tags and we can parse these XML tags using parser program for further processing. We can work on URDF modeling in the upcoming section. And then we have KDL parser. It's a kinematic and dynamic library. Is a, it is an it is in it is a ROS package that contains parser tools to build a KTL tree from the URDF representation. The kinematic tree can be used to publish the joint states and uh, also to forward and inverse kinematics of the robot. And then we have robot state publisher. Uh, this package uh, this package reads the current robot joint states and publishes uh, the three D poses of each robot link using the kinematics tree built from the URDF. 
The 3D pose of the robot is published as ROS TF. ROS TF publishes the relationship between coordinates, frames of between coordinates frames of robot. And then we have ZACO. Uh, it stands for XML macros and we can define uh, many macros in, 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 in URDF and it's an add-on feature. It contains some add-ons to make URDF shorter, readable and can be used for building complex robot descriptions. We can convert Zako to URDF at any time using some ROS tools. We will see more about Zako and its usage in upcoming sessions. So let's have some understanding about robot modeling using URDF. The following tags are the commonly used URDF tags to be composed uh, in a URDF model. It, um, uh, the first thing is the link tag. The link tag represents a single link of a robot. Using this tag, we can model a robot link and its properties. The modeling includes size, shape, color, and can even import a 3D mesh to represent the robot link. We can also provide dynamic properties of the link, such as such as inertial matrix and collision properties. Okay, the following is a representation of a single link. You can define like this. And the visual section represents the real link of the robot. Here we have. Um, and the area surrounding the real link is the collision section. The collision section encapsulates the real link to detect collision before hitting a real link. It is really important because the software doesn't know, know, doesn't know that this is a link that has solid properties. So we have to define. So let's go further. Uh, then we have a robot modeling using URDF. Let's continue. Another important tag inside URDF is joint. It's here. The joint tag represents a robot joint. Like this. We can specify the kinematics and dynamics of the joint and also set the limits of the joint movement and its velocity. The joint tag supports the different types of joints such as revolute, continuous, prismatic, fixed, floating, and planning. The syntax is shown here. Uh, a URDF joint is formed between two links. The first is called parent and, uh, and the second one is called child. It's a following illustration of a joint and its legs. Okay, we discussed about links and joints. Uh, where do we put it? We put all these links and joints inside the tag, which is called robot. This tag, this tag encapsulates the entire robot model that can be represented using URDF. Inside the robot tag, we can define the name of the robot, the links, and the joints of the robot, which we have discussed before. The syntax is shown here. A robot model consists of connected links and joints. So visualize here is a visualization of the robot model. Then we have Gazebo. Uh, this tag is used when we include simulation property properties of um, the Gazebo simulator inside URDF. We can use this tag to include Gazebo plugins and Gazebo material properties and so on. The following shows an example using Gazebo tag, um, which is here. We can find more about URDF tags at uh, wiki.ros.org slash URDF slash XML. Congratulations, and that's it. The whole thing we discussed is simple, straightforward, and enough for robot modeling in ROS. From now, we shall go for practice how to make a robot model in ROS. So, excuse me to skip this. Okay, this is my computer, and uh, let's go to terminal. Oh, yeah, this is Ubuntu. 16.04 and I'm using Kinetic, it's the latest version. Okay, it has some problems. Um, many of the packages are not released yet, but it's a good addition. Um, so, let's see what it does. Okay.
first thing we do is let me show you uh, the book which I'm using for this uh, training it is mastering ROS robotics programming and this is the book it's available online you can download it it's a very interesting book the contents are arranged in a beautiful way it, it will not allow you to deviate from the course everything is systematic if you follow from chapter number one and chapter number so on you can learn ROS easily so I shall definitely recommend the book and there's another book let me show you another book okay please excuse me for this and uh, yeah there you go okay it's not here yeah this one this is um, learning ROS for robotics programming this is and this one is mastering ROS for robotics programming I shall recommend uh, the beginner to study two chapters of uh, this book and then directly go to this book oh sorry this one the mastering ROS for robotics programming it's a really good book so right now my section I'm sorry my section is based on um, chapter number two of this book and following the contents and of this book so everything what I'm talking is from here uh, let's go and create the ROS package for one description don't forget you need to enter the catkin workspace and then you have to tell your system that please accept the or rows commands now we have row cd i've already made uh, this file using can create package using PKT and everything using all CPP trans function genetic messages URDF and the, the interesting point is this after that uh, you need to go to to do that please do not run this command this is the page number 64 uh, it has some problems so instead of that do this go to um, go to uh, the root workspace of your ROS and then enter in CSRC and then directly run this command so it will download this package I have already made this package here so home captain workspace CSRC so here it is I have already made my this package okay so after making this package um, it will describe you how to make this uh, pan and tilt and there is a xml version of the launch file before you do that please do not forget to make a urdf model and uh, yeah, first create urdf and mesh files this one and uh, this one. okay let's do that I, I shall I, I do that I delete it okay, let's me not delete it let me put it and uh, uh, cut and save it somewhere okay so let's do that okay please do not run this command just go and run this in an src note that my workspace catkin workspace and then src okay so this is the problem 
I'm pasting it and then I'm copying this there we go and you see I have for my home workspace again SNC and there it is everything is there and uh, so let me show you the pen and tilt robot uh, in this section this is the folder and here we have pen and tilt URDF where is that? Where is that? it's here when we okay So do you see there are many tags inside it? You can see. Okay, let me show you in this. There are many tags. You can see. Okay. We have uh, this main tag, which is robot name. Name is pan underscore tilt. And then we have link tags. We have join tags. Then again, we have link tag. And then we have join tag. Inside link, we have visual tag and we have geometry tag we have region we have material name color key and and uh, visualization like region inertial properties and so on and this uh, is a programming style of xml so don't worry about it if you don't know it's a really easy so you just have to remember the couple of ways like this how to open and how to close and uh, how to close the main file which is you open it like this and then close it like this and in the same way you open it like this and close it like this the same way no difference so we have link open that excuse me open like this and close like this so we have Let's see what's inside it. We have visual properties, we have geometry, we have length and radius, we have material like yellow and uh, red green. To combine red and green, it becomes yellow. So, it's uh, visual properties and so on. So, that's this is our pan and tilt model. Okay, now uh, let's check that it. Is our old robot model is correct or not? So let's just enter this command. Oh. Okay. Uh, sorry. Before we enter that, you we need to go to that relevant folder. So let me go there. And then now you have. Now I need to enter this command to check whether my um, URDF file is okay or not. So it's good, successful, it's perfect, no problem. Now if I want to see uh, the graph the structure of the robot links and graphically I need to enter this command so it will create the visualization and PDF file if you want to see or the visualization You can see this. So you see the base link, the pan join, the pan link, and the tilt friendly pan. So it's a very intuitive way and very interesting way to show what's inside the robot. So let's see our robot in RVs. So to do that, we have to create a launch folder, and inside a launch folder, we have to create view underscore demo dot launch so this is the file I'm copying 
So let's go to the launch file and then make me all command view underscore damn window. So here we have I like this tab because it shows okay, I'm sorry. Because it shows that uh, this is a different tag. Again, this is an XML programming. And I have copied and put like this. And now I'm going to copy the remaining code. So, let's go there. Okay. Now, I even want to move back and go to the launch file, launch folder. So here I want to use this command rose launch package name and launch name. So tab So I want to show that if you can just simply copy and paste this file, it will give you this error. This is um, package, the traceback is written over to the low files, not good. What's the problem is, in, is, what's the problem is, is that when you copy it in the book, when you paste it, there's some, um, because of the book format, uh, there's a line entrance. So if you want to do, remove this error, remove this error. And that's it. And then again, you see, yeah, you need, please make this one space. And then again, yeah, and that's it. And let me check here. Yeah. Now let's run again. If you press the up arrow key, this will show you the last command. Okay works fine. So let's make it a move. Wow. It's working. This is Arvis. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, zoom in, and you can change the visualization. And uh, yeah, it's up to you. You can change the frame rate. background color, what model is visual enabled, not enabled, collision enabled, it will show you the um, with the collision, no, and grid, no grid, and um, many other interesting, and see the transfer, it will show you the transfer, if you don't want to see that, just So that's it. So let's close it now. So we have seen all these things. Now let me go to the Zarko file. Um, the problem with the URDF is that it's you not know, flexible. Um, if you want to make a lot of uh, files, like uh, if you have to copy, let me show you the URD file again. If you want to copy this model using multiple times links, and uh, joins you have to copy this whole code and paste it it reduces the flexibility it reduces the readability and your code becomes very really complicated for very real complicated robot and another problem is that it um, 
Yeah, it does not allow you to call an external file. So it reduces the URDF properties. Um, some of the main features that URF is missing is simplicity. And the URDF is missing are simplicity, usability, modularity, and programmability. If someone wants to reuse the URDF block 10 times in his what? Descript in his robot description, he has to copy and paste the block 10 times. If there is an option to use uh, in this code block and make multiple copies with different settings, it will be very um, convenient. Now the URDF is single file and we cannot include other URDF file inside it. This reduces the modular, modular nature of the code. All um, code should be in a single file which reduces the code simplicity too. Also, there is, an, there is some programmability such as adding variables, constants, mathematical expressions, conditional statements and so on in the description language. It will be more user friendly. The robot modeling using Zacro meets all these conditions and some of the main features of Zacro are described here. Okay, number one, simplify URDF. The Zacro is cleaned up version of URDF. What it does is it creates macros inside the robot description and he, and he uses the macros. This can reduce the code length also. It can include macros from other files and make the code more readable and simple. Another property of Zacro is programmability. The Zacro language supports uh, um, simple programming statement in its description. These are variables, constants, mathematical expressions, conditional statements, and so on. We can see the Zacro, that Zacro is an updated version of UIF. Okay. Let's have some look about this robot and let's create it using the Zacro file. These are the ARM specifications. We have uh, 7 degree of freedom, length, nature of the arm, number of links, number of joints, type of joints, resolute, limitations. These are the limitations, minus 150 to 114 degrees. And all these, elbow joints, elbow pit joint, crisp, all these joints. Okay, using constants in Zacro, we can define the um, constants it's like degree to radian property value is this property name map high this is the value is this property name elbow pitch length this is the value property name elbow pitch length this is the value and uh, using macros and macro these are inertial matrix mass and uh, inertial properties and uh, we have uh, macros, so this is transmission block, which is like this, it is, uh, let me describe what it is. Okay, uh, this section of the code, uh, we can see the definition using transmission tab. It relates a joint to an actuator, it defines the type of transmission that we are using in the particular joint and the type of motor. It also defines the type of hardware interfere, interface we use when we interface with the ROS controllers. We can also use the Zacro files. So we can extend the capabilities of robot Zacro, robot Zacro by including the Zacro definition of sensors using Zacro colon include tag. The following code is snippets. Snippet shows how to include sensor definition in the robot Zacro. This is the definition. Here we include Zacro definition. Yeah, called Zeus Zyton Pro. We can also use meshes if you model your robot in a CAD software like AutoCAD or Pro-E or Solid Edge or SolidWorks or Cadia, you can say the DAE extension of it in your computer and then you can call it in. So before I go to some more detail, let me go to this terminal and let me run it for you. Enter 10. 
cap and do you have do you have this u underscore um pack oh ah, i think there's a problem with this yeah i when i was conducting this it's a problem with it Okay, you can store oh yeah I got it you want to run it then first let it make this package Problem was in a rows area. Okay, I got it. So I just delete it. Again, run it. Okay. Now this method is working now. Okay. What I have done is I just have well, I just I have just gone to the root directory, which is Catkin and the scope workspace. And I have just made this task uh, you I have just compiled all the things which was in my workspace. So now let me go back to raw CD. I'm in this package, so raw let me go to the launch folder first. Now problem with this package because I did not clear it. Okay. What I'm thinking is to copy my previous uh, work this one and put it in my working directory for you which is home cat in workspace c and read it and paste it here back and then on it no it doesn't change the thing I should come back in um, with this form with some problem. So okay. So there's some problem. I'm sorry for that. I, should, um, I think I resolved it. Resolved it. Okay. Okay. Let me do that. If this problem occurs, I did that. Let me show you how. Go back to this. Not this. Go back to this. And uh, see this package from the beginning. Enter instead of if you just copy it, 
Control C, Cast Button. Audio Copy, Control Shift. So the package is created. So now things are there. I just copied from the stuff. Um, okay, please bear with me. Like this. So let's go back. Okay, it's fine. And now I'm going to create a view folder in the. Okay, let's not create the view in this code demo, but let me create. Okay, yeah. And let me create. is not resolving. I think there's a problem with the book card. So I'm not sure about it. Perhaps something else. So I should come back with this resolve it when I shall resolve it. But before I leave let me show you how to run the robot for the differential robot for your differential stuff Let me show you what it does with the mobile robot. Okay. Oh. I don't see. Okay. This is amazing. Okay, so there was a problem. Problem is this. There, is, there are no uh, two files which we need to use. To do that, we need to run this command.
this one. Actually, the problem is this we do not have uh, the two files which we need here when you make uh, your own folder. So, when we download it from the site, you see these two files. So, if I copy these files in my home workspace, see from here, then there will be no problem. See that? And then Basically, the, one of the main problem is in the is in this one. This one. If you do not download it from your from the website using the IT clone, which is this one, you will not have these two files. These two files. And if you don't copy it, your code will cause some problems. So from here, I would like to conclude my discussion. Okay, uh, today we discussed a little bit about URDM, we discussed about Zako, we discussed uh, display in our ways and like us to use some meshes, how to use that. In the next session, I shall describe the differential robots, real world examples and simulation using Kaggle. Thank you very much for your time and if you have any questions, Please comment on the section. Thank you.